all progressive uh, member and former advisor to former Nigerian president Muhammadu Bari Basha Ahmad recently addressed a critic who brought up a selfie he took with Madame Ngozi Okunjewala. Ahmad detailed how the critic had accused him of disrespecting Okunjewala in 2014 in a post on his official social media accounts. He also expressed amazement that the critic was still carrying grudges after all these years. Ahmad's post shared on a Friday addressed the lingering bitterness of the critic who apparently had on to past grievances despite the passage of time. Ahmad expressed bewilderment at the critic's persistent resentment, especially considering that it was now 2024, indicating the significant gap between the alleged insult and the present day. He reflected on the critic's reaction to his respectful reference to Ukunjewala as our mommy, contrasting it with the critic's earlier accusations of insults. He questioned the coherence of the critic's response suggesting that the critic might be confused or uncertain about their true intentions. Ahmad advised the critic to take time to introspection and self-reflection, urging them to consider their motivations and desires more carefully. Hear him. What a state of confusion. You claim I insulted Madame Okunjo Wala in 2014. We are in 2014. We are now in 2024. And you are still holding on to feelings of bitterness over it. Yet, when I affectionately refer to her as our mommy, you have been under my tweets with tears and insults since yesterday. Don't you think that uh, you are lost? I suggest taking time, taking some time to reflect and understand what it is you truly want. <laughs> You've forgotten that the uh, internet does not forget. People will still always remind you. That is why you need to be careful. It's a lesson. Whether the thing is a 30 years or 40 years, internet does not forget. You know, when you can say something to somebody without a be written on grant, it's a different thing. So people have to go back. That's why before you do anything, you must make sure that in 10 years' time, in 20 years' time, at least I should be able to stand with what I'm saying, not that I will not start wavering. Yes. Did you apologize to her before now, even if it was 100 years ago? Heart of stone. Happy to be an attack dog. She decided to become your mommy because all what you insulted her for didn't turn to be to be when you eventually became part of Buhari's government propagandist. What does it what does it matter if anybody is holding on to bitterness until Basha met learn to live and don't bother himself about who is bitter or happy? He will always be a victim of his emotions. Go and get seated. That is medication application after death. After all the unguided words of you against a peaceful lady woman, just for nothing, and you are here with your cool cock and boo stories, just make the needed peace with her and stop referring us to the past. That is why you guys should know how to talk. We will continue to hold grabs against you, rabble rouser. Would think that a political appointment means insult your elders we are waiting for all of you yes once they have that appointment they they will believe that their life is just like that this guy called Basha Ahmad should not be given relevance he was jobless in the streets of Kano Buhari brought him to co see our money now this too successfully he has goods to insult the Nigerians you deserve all what the critics said to you you Never think of tomorrow. Why making statements today? What do you mean by Madame Ngozi Okunjewala? In your own journalism, we are not just even taught simple etiquette. Can't you say, Mrs. <laughs> Which girl, Mrs. Mm, uh, Doctor Mrs. Ngozi Okunjewala? She's not now our mommy because you have stolen more than enough for your generations yet unborn. You insulted her because she was blocking you from looting the treasury. School good, school good, I beg, I swear. He had answer you and teaches you moral. <laughs> what do you mean by Madame Gosio Kunjewala? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.